everyone, my name is Amber and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're in New York City, oh my goodness. So we're gonna walk around, our first stop is Macy's, hi. Okay, so that was lie number one. I'm not quite at Macy's, but I'm definitely walking up Fifth Avenue and it is so nice. This is everything along the way there. There's a building to your left and a building to your right and a building to your A. Hey, well, there's not really much to say right here, you know, other than like, here's some cool buildings. Well, when I was walking through New York, New York City, everything was like pretty easy to navigate in so far as I could actually walk there. But it is definitely crowded, just like people say it is. And your feet will be so tired by the end of the day, like walking everywhere is no joke. So put on your walking shoes or set aside, you know, an Uber slash taxi budget. Um, my family and I were able to drive to New York City from Jamaica, New York. Yeah, that's where JFK's at. And we made sure to buy our parking online in advance. So if you have to drive into the city, I would definitely recommend it. I was traveling with my mom and my grandmother, so I definitely didn't want to make them have to take the subway to and fro, especially on vacation. Just some traveling tips. If you know like you're gonna go to New York City in advance, maybe try to have a lunch reservation in the area that you're gonna be at just to make it more convenient. Not that you'll have a, an issue like finding anywhere to eat, but just to kind of like map out your day that way, it'd be really helpful. Oh, and sorry for the noise in the background. That's my little doggy. <laughs> um, so yeah, try to plan it out as best as possible to make it easier on yourself. And if you're gonna go to any touristy areas, don't try to have a super like strict deadline because you will be walking through all these people. So yeah, and driving is definitely not much better. You can see us just kind of like struggling to stay together, but this is like the middle of Times Square. So you can see where like it would be like kind of hectic trying to go in between all these these people uh, most people from New York City avoid this area at all costs and I know that if you're planning a visit to New York City you're probably gonna want to go but just bring your patients with you because you are going to need it um, it is really cool in this area though we were able to walk by a couple of street performers which was interesting to say the least it was people doing a bunch of like flips and um, acrobats and I was scared for them honestly because like it was cement Okay, you see that Forever 21? It's the most messed up thing ever in the entire universe. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating. But they don't have plus size. <sighs> and it's three stories. You would think that they would have room for that. Anyway, now we're off to the next segment of New York City. We made it. We are gonna go see Wicked. Oh my goodness, it was so hot outside. There was like 50 million and people. We are cool now. We are a cool, cool now. Cool now. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> So this is me and my entourage walking in to, I think it's the Greenwich, Greenwich Theater. Yeah, whatever the name is. It starts with a G. Anyway, this is where uh, Wicked was and the play was really, or the musical was really good. I would 10 out of 10 recommend it. However, me and my entourage had been walking around New York City for hours and hours. So by the time we got here, I was so tired. We almost fell asleep in the movie theater. So, or not movie theater, just the theater. So make sure that you're like well rested before you try to watch any performances. But I had been wanting to see Wicked for literally years. And they toured around the whole country and I was just now seeing it after all this time. So I mean, better late than never, but I do wish I would have had the chance to see it sooner because it was amazing. So this is me taking my little selfie selfie, you know, before the show starts. And this is us leaving, well, I guess leaving the outside. And now we're driving back to our hotel. We stayed in a hotel near JFK, which was quite a drive. So if you are going to be spending time in New York City, I would definitely recommend getting a hotel in Times Square in the central location that you want. It's definitely worth it. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, remember, together we are awesome in action. Bye. <laughs>